Hey guys, Jeff here with a real quick video. Just going to do my Age of Sigmar skirmish campaign post thought video. Um, so I'm just going to sort of talk about my impressions on the campaign game um, now that I've played for three or four campaign. Um, yeah, just wanted to add that this will be the last video that I film in this place after this video. There'll probably be a bit of a break because I moved this weekend. Not really sure how long it will take for me to get in that internet on at the new place, but um, I'm hoping to have a better like setup for the hobby and be able to film a little bit more often. And um, hopefully, just we, I can get back into filming and uploading pretty quickly. But um, yeah, so I'll get straight into some of my thoughts and ideas, I guess, around Age of Sigma skirmish campaigns. So, um, I'll start with sort of an overall thing. So overall, I I think it's a really fun game, like Age of Sigma itself. Then Age of Sigma skirmish, I think, is really fun, and I think the campaign is really cool. Um, I really like the progression. They've sort of managed to get take a lot of the good elements from Mordheim with your character progression and your warband sort of evolving as you play. But um keep it sort of in this in like a similar like difficulty I guess for as Age of Sigma is. Like Age of Sigma has sort of gone down sort of to a, I guess a more minimalist approach for wargaming where the rules aren't necessarily this huge like tone. Um and they've, I think, anyway, that they've managed to balance uh, the stuff, like the good stuff of Mordheim into, not all the good stuff of Mordheim, but some of the good stuff of Mordheim and Age of Sigma proper. Um, they managed to find a really good balance with the campaigns for Age of Sigma Skirmish, where that you've got the character progression, but you don't have to you know, sift through 300 pages of rules to figure out how you do post-game stuff and all that. Um, in saying that though, there is some things that I, I do believe that there is room for additional items and commander abilities and stuff like that to be added. I mean, they could be added through other campaigns. Like, I'm not really sure if Games Workshop are planning to release further campaigns beyond what they have, the Shades of Fire one. But, um, if they do, then I assume that's where they'll start bringing in new command abilities, different items, probably more specific to campaigns. But um, yeah, there's room for a little bit of um, player input on this um, part, I think, where people that are making their own campaigns can sort of add new abilities and items and stuff to their campaigns, and I think that's really cool and interesting. Um, I think that I'll be working on a sort of Age of Sigma campaign to play through just um, by myself or with a couple of friends and I'll be sort of taking advantage of the systems already in place within the book and um, creating some new items and stuff and new abilities and that that are specific to the campaign that I make for it. Um, yeah, I had, a, I had a really good time playing the campaign and it's quick. I mean, I, I played the campaign over two gaming sessions. So the first one I played I think two two, maybe three of the games, and then the second one I played the rest. And um you know, I wasn't sitting there playing game playing Age of Sigma like for six hours at a time or anything. Um I mean the first game went for about ten or fifteen minutes and the second game was maybe about twenty minutes to half an hour. And I think as the campaign progressed the games took a little bit longer but I never played a game that went for more than about 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting, like, the way that they've done it with this sort of a story linked into the campaign. But you've got these uh, scenarios which can be played just separately by themselves. But all the scenarios sort of link together quite well, I think. Um, the only thing that sort of my biggest, I guess, qualm with ABC Mouse Skirmish, or the campaign that's been provided in the sort of core book, is um, the win condition. I'm not a really big fan of it. I mean, I had a pretty even game uh, campaign. I had both teams won three, lost three, and um, the winner came out just by the end of like the winning the last game. Because um, that's 
So if you don't know, the way to, like, you can lose every game but just win the final game and you win the campaign, which, I mean, in a way it makes sense and it's kind of cool that even if you lose everything you can make like a final stand in the last game. But I feel like that, for, if that was the case, then I feel like the player that won, you know, five of the six games might feel a bit ripped off that they all of a sudden lost the campaign because they lost one game. And, um, I know that that sort of emulates, like, an actual, like, I guess, you know, I guess historical campaign of a bat, like a war where um, things can turn really quickly and uh, one battle can be very de de decisive in um, the outcome of a war, but, or the outcome of a campaign at least, um, but I think that in terms of like from a gameplay perspective, um, I'd sort of almost prefer just using, they've, I mean they've got a scoring system built into the game, you generate renown when you win, um, I can't remember the numbers, but there's major victory, minor victory, loss and draw, and depending on what the outcome is, your warband generates those points as renown, and then they spend them to get more miniatures, but um, in a way that's already sort of scoring the game for you, so for instance in my campaign, um, Skaven won the campaign because they won the last game. But if you went off Renown, the Free Guild actually won Renown wise, they were a more well known warband, which sort of I think makes more sense with the fluff than just winning. Um, but yeah, they were a more well, well known warband because they won the same amount of games, but when they won, they both times. Sorry. Two out of the three times they won, they won a major victory, and then they won one minor victory. Where the Skaven won two minor victories and a major victory. Um, won the minor victories being the very end, um, last game. So, it's I think it'd be different if, by winning the last game, you won on a major victory that sort of made you the winner, even if you lost a lot of the games because you're really hammering your opponent. But um. I kind of like the idea of running it off for an hour, but again, I've only played through one campaign. Maybe my thoughts would change after I played a couple more, played through a campaign a couple more times, which is something I'm planning on doing soon. So, I mean, that could change. But I like to hear what other people think about that have played through the campaign, think about the win condition, and um, if you say if other people have any sort of, I guess, ways that they prefer to do it. I think that just based off my one playthrough of the campaign that I'd prefer to use Renown to decide the winner because I feel like it sort of fits in with the fluff a bit better and it also makes more sense because it's going to be whoever won the most either whoever won the most games or whoever won most decisively in games. But like I've said before in videos I don't really keep up with any releases of um, for games and stuff but um it'd be interesting like I really do hope that Games Workshop if they're not already planning to do decide to release some more official um, campaigns and scenarios um, for Skirmish, maybe even a sort of a book with several campaigns in it or whatever, or just separate ones. Uh, but either way, like I said in my first video about Ages in my Skirmish, this game has a lot of potential for community input. Um, there's a lot of potential for gamers themselves to make to write their own campaigns and put their own like um, abilities and items in them, and uh, that's something that I look forward to for this game, um, is actually producing my own campaigns to play, and so if no more do get added by Games Workshop officially, I'm still going to have a lot of um, replay value in Age of Sigmar Skirmish, um, but yeah, I'm hoping that they do release some more stuff officially, because this campaign was really fun, the fluff around it was interesting, the and yeah, I had a really um, good time playing through it. But yeah, um, that's it for this one, guys. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.